<laughs> President-elect Barrow says a new Gambia is born. It's a moment many in London thought they'd never see, brought about by a man who 15 years before worked there as a security guard. It was while a member of the Gambian community here in London that Adama Barrow harboured dreams of one day going home to become a real estate developer. From January, he's responsible for building his country. And after 22 years under President Jame, Gambians are still adjusting to the change of leadership and the promises that have been made. It's a shock to everybody, but Gambian people select him to be the leader and they're proud of you, and I'm proud of him as well. It means a lot to me. I'm happy for change, and I just pray that Almighty God keep, guide, and protect him. Outside of Gambia, opposition used social media to provide their compatriots with an alternative message and campaign for the EU to withhold funding from the Jame government. For the community here, the impact of that on our community is that for the first time, I think, everybody will be united because Jame's modus operandi is to divide and rule and that had a ripple effect on Gambian communities worldwide as well as in London. And Barrow says he wants everybody on board now and that politics in Gambia is over. But a former vice president says the work to rebuild it has just begun. Gambia is a case where the state has been broken down, the economy is in a mess, uh, the national, the sense of oneness in the country has been undermined by Jame, and he has said that he will try his best to tackle almost all of this uh, simultaneously, including working on relations with our neighbours. A local imam says that will all come in time if the country comes together. Now is the time to show our solidarity behind this new president. Let's give him chance. When he accepted the candidacy for president, Barrow said he was overwhelmed by his party's confidence. In London, many feel that this confidence is well placed. Yao Chin, Al Jazeera, London.